If I take a program, I need to store some value. So where do I store the value? Initialization in the sense, you are assigning the value to the variable. C-O-N-S-T is the keyword that I have to use before I mention the type of the variable. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on variables. So guys, what do I have in this session? So what is that I will be discussing? Yes, without wasting much of your time, it's time to discuss the agenda for all of you. So guys, I will be speaking completely most of the important topics with respect to the variables in today's session, especially how do I declare a variable? How do I initialize a variable? Also, how do I give the default values to the variables? Along with that, I will also discuss the constant variables and the scope of the variable lastly. All right, so let's start with the first topic that I have. So declaring a variable, that's going to be the first uh, uh, topic. Declaration of variable is one of the important thing that you need to remember. So fine, before I start explaining this, you all know you would have used or you would have learned in another programming, any other programming languages, but you need to understand the purpose of the variable first. If I take a program, I need to store some value. So where do I store the value? So I will get a doubt, right? So to solve this problem, I will create something called a variable which holds the value. So now, fine, you understood. If I want to store a value, you need a variable. How do you create it? So for that, I have the syntax to create the variable. So creating a variable is known as declaration of the variable. So whenever you are declaring a variable, you need to follow a simple syntax. The first thing that you have to remember is, first you have to mention the type of the variable. Say for example, I will write int. So what is this int? Int is the data type, so fine. So after that, I will write A. So what is this A? A is the name of the variable. So but A is a type of int. That's what you need to remember here. A is a type of int. So guys, here it's a variable name and this is the type. So you need to specify what type of variable that you're trying to create. So what is that I need to understand here? Why should I mention the type? So what happens is when you mention the data type here, so you will be storing that type of value in this variable. That's our first thing that you need to remember. So fine, I understood how to declare a variable. So why am I declaring a variable? Obviously, you need to store the value inside the variable. So that process is what I will call it as a initialization of the variable. So fine, let me just take an example. So what is the syntax for the initialization of the variable? So you can do it in two types. For example, the first time, first I will write the data type. Imagine I'm writing A, right? So that is a variable name. So int is a data type and A is a variable of type int. So fine. So now what I will do is I will just write is equal to n10. So guys, this is what I will call it as the initialization of the variable. Initialization in the sense you are assigning the value to the variable. That's what you need to remember. Whenever uh, you're just looking at this, so you might get a doubt like this. Sir, am I storing the value that is 10 in the A? My dear students, you need to understand it very clearly. What happens at the back is, imagine this is a memory, okay? In this memory, I'm storing 10. But for this memory, I'm giving a name that is A. That's what you need to remember. All right, so for that location, I'm just giving the name. So that's what I will call it as a variable, right? So, so that's what you need to remember the back what happens here. But at the meantime, you need to remember one more thing. Say for example, this is a first type, okay, of initializing the value. The second time, first I will uh, declare a variable. So fine. So imagine this is a A and I will just declare it. So I'm not going to initialize it here itself, like how I did it here. So I can also do it like this in the next line. I can just initialize the value in the next line. So this is also a valid statement is what I would like to tell you at this point of time. So this is how you will declare and initialize the values to the variable. One thing you need to remember, so here I'm mentioning the data type. So you can specify whatever, whatever the data type which is supported by the C hash. So you can just mention that and you can store that type of value in the variable which you have created. So fine, you got an idea about the declaration and the initialization. So let me not uh, spend more time there because you already know these topics. So fine, moving forward to the next topic that I have, constant variable. So my dear students, it's a, one of the best topics that you need to remember, C-O-N-S-T is the keyword that I have to use before I mention the type of the variable. 
So observe here, what I've given is CONST is a keyword. And then after that, I have mentioned the type of this variable. Rows is a variable of type int. But I have done, I've made this rows as constant by mentioning the keyword CONST, that is const. What is the speciality of this constant variable, sir? The value of this variable stays constant throughout the execution of the program. The value will never change. That's the important thing that you should remember when it comes to the concept of constant variable. So hope you understood about the constant variable. Moving forward to the next one, scope of the variable. Scope of the variable in the sense, the visibility of the variables. That's what you need to remember. Visibility in the sense, like, you know, uh, what is the privilege that the variable has got? So that is what we call it as the scope of the variables. When we are discussing the scope of the variables, we will come across different types of variables which has got the different scopes. So let's understand that one by one in detail now. So guys, when I start discussing the different categories of variables, so I will come across with the first one that is static variable, instance variable, array elements or array variable, whatever you can call it as. And the next one is value parameter and reference parameter, output parameter, the local parameter. So all these things are the different categories of the variables which we will come across in c -ash. Let me just tell you, let me discuss in detail what exactly each variable is doing. All right, so it's time to discuss in detail about this. So let's check the first one, static variable. So I will be using a keyword called static for a static variable. So what happens with the static? My dear students, you need to remember one thing. Suppose if I declare any variable as a static variable, say for example, imagine this A. I'm declaring this A as a static variable and I will create n number of objects for all the objects. So whatever the location that I have given, the same location will be shared with all the objects. Say for example, I have object obj1, okay? So obj1, so already I have 10. Okay, so right now this object is accessing the value of this variable that is 10. Say for example, I have one more object, okay, 2. So for this object also, so I'm, I, I'm uh, giving the same location, the same value. If there is any modification which is happening, so that value will get updated here. Let's imagine 20. Same location, same value will be shared among all the objects. That's the speciality of the static variable. That's what you need to remember. That's what they have given and they have mentioned it. Single copy of the variable is created and shared among all the objects in the class level. That's what you need to remember with respect to the static variable. So moving on to the next one, instance variable. This kind of variables are created whenever you create the objects. These variables are created as soon as you create the objects. So that, that type of variables is what I will call it as a instance variable. All right, moving forward to the next one that we have array variable. So guys, we, we all know the concept of arrays. Why do we use arrays? Yes, of course, to store the multiple values of same type. So if I want to store multiple values of same type in one variable, obviously I will be using the concept of array variables. But when it comes to instance variable or in the no, static variable, I, I definitely cannot store multiple values. That's what you need to remember. But when it comes to the array variable, I will be able to store multiple values is what you need to remember. That's the speciality of array variables. Moving forward to the next one, value parameter is one of the uh, type of variable that we have. So when I'm discussing the concept of function, please remember, so I will be passing the value, okay, to the function as a parameter. So remember, when I'm passing the value, I will be using the value parameter. There, directly you're sending the value. So that's what you need to remember. Sir, then what else you can also send? You're saying, you're stressing on, directly you're sending the value to the function. But what else you can send? Yes, of course, I can also send the address. That's what I will call it as a reference. If I'm sending the address, I will use the different variable. That's what I will call it as a reference parameter. So two types of uh, parameters you need to remember with respect to the functions. If you're sending the value directly, then you will be using the value parameter. If you're sending the address of that value, then you will be using the reference parameter. And the most important thing, you would have used function. So always, we all know that the function will return only one single value. But if I want to return multiple values, guys, I'll be using the 
different type of variable that's going to be the output parameter. This will help me to you know, return more than one value. That's the speciality of this variable. All right, the last one that I have, uh, local parameter. So guys, local parameter in the sense the parameter, the scope of the parameter will be only within the function. That's what you need to remember. So with this, I have come to an end of this session. Hope you have got the complete concept of the different types of variables what we had and the different concepts which around, you know, revolves around the variable is what we have discussed in today's session. So with this, let me end the session. Happy learning. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.